Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at Electromagnets, Magnetic Fields and Uses of Electromagnets. So, when an electric current flows through a wire, it creates a magnetic field around the wire. So, by winding the wire into a coil, we can strengthen the magnetic field. Electromagnets are made from coils like this. So, we can make the electromagnets stronger by wrapping the coil around an iron core, adding more turns to the coil, and increasing the current flowing through the coil. A solenoid consists of a wire coiled up into a spiral shape. So when an electric current flows, the shape of the magnetic field is very similar to the field of a bar magnet. The field inside a solenoid is strong and uniform, and the small magnetic fields caused by the current in each of the coils all add together to make a stronger overall magnetic field. So a solenoid is shown here in cross section and has a stronger electromagnetic field than a single straight wire. So like we've just said, when a current flows in the wire, it creates a circular magnetic field around the wire. This magnetic field can be or can deflect a needle of a magnetic compass the strength of the magnetic field is greater the closer to the wire you get and if you increase the current the direction of the field lines shown shows how a compass would line up if you place it at that point so we can use the right hand grip rule to remember the relationship between the field around a wire. So if you grab the wire with your right fist, your thumb points up, this is the direction of the current, and your curled finger goes and shows the direction of the field. So, first use of an electromagnet that we want to look at is a doorbell. So when the current flows in the circuit, the electromagnet generates magnetic field. So this electromagnet attracts the springy metal arm towards it. This arm hits the gong which goes and makes the sound. The circuit is then broken because the arm is out of position so the contacts will no longer be in contact. So the electromagnet is turned off and the springy metal arm moves back to its original position. That completes the circuit again and the entire circuit or the entire cycle repeats until the switch is closed. The second type is a circuit breaker. So we start off with a spring loaded push switch, which is held in the closed position by a spring loaded soft iron bolt. An electromagnet is arranged so that it can pull the bolt away from the switch. So when a live wire carries the usual operating current, the electromagnet is not strong enough to separate the contacts. If something goes wrong, however, then a large current will flow. So the electromagnet will be strong enough to pull out of that spring-loaded bolt. The bolt will spring up and that will break the circuit. So one type of circuit breaker, like I just said, is shown in the diagram. So we explain in full detail what happens when a current is bigger than normal. So, the important thing to talk about is that the electromagnet becomes stronger, so the iron moves left, so the plunger goes or is pushed up and switches off or pulls away from the switch, so therefore the circuit is broken and that turns off the current. The final type of use of an electromagnet that we want to look at is a relay switch. So, relay switches are used when you want to turn on something that is a high voltage at distance. So the input circuit is switched off and no current flows through it until something turns it on. So the output circuit is also switched off. So when a small current flows in the input circuit, it activates the electromagnet, which produces a magnetic field around it. So the energized electromagnet pulls the metal bar in the output circuit towards it, closing the switch and allowing a much bigger current to flow through the output circuit. 
So the output circuit operates a high current appliance such as a lamp or an electric motor. So if we have a look at this example, so ignition keys use relay switches. So explain how turning the ignition key in a car makes current flow in the starter motor. So we start off when the electric, when the ignition key is turned, the current flows through the coil. So that goes and flows through and causes a magnetic field around the electromagnet. That means that the electromagnet will be magnetized and will therefore attract the iron bar towards it. So the arm pivots or moves towards the electromagnet and pushes the contacts together, which turns on the secondary circuit, which would be the high current circuit. Thanks for watching.